In the previous video, we discussed about the top 8 vaccines for COVID-19. If you want to watch that video first, the link is in the description. And now in this video, we'll be discussing about the E484K mutation in SARS-CoV-2. We know this E484K mutation is present in most of the variants of SARS-CoV-2. Here in this table, the variants of concern are shown in which we can see this E484K mutation. Now first of all, let's decode what this E484K mutation is. The E letter is the glutamic acid and K is the lysine amino acid. And this number that is the 484 tells us the position of amino acid in the S protein. Now what we see here is that in E484K mutation, the E that is the glutamic acid at 484 position is replaced by lysine amino acid in the S protein. So here the change is the negatively charged glutamic acid is getting replaced by lysine which is the positively charged amino acid and this definitely changes the dynamics and properties of S protein. So we call it a mutation. Furthermore we need to see where this 484 position lies in the S protein of SARS-CoV-2. Here in this diagram we have the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. It has got two subunits, the S1 subunit on the left and S2 subunit on the right. The S1 subunit is responsible for binding to the host receptor and S2 subunit contains the membrane fusion machinery. Now if you look at the S protein, the sequence of amino acids, the first one that is the signal peptide has got 1 to 13 amino acids. Then from 13 to 318 amino acid we have got the NTD. Then from 318 to 510 we have got the RBD that is receptor binding domain. And within this domain we have got the RBM from 424 to 494 position. Then within S2 subunit we have got some important peptides like FP which is the fusion peptide and HR which is the heptide repeat. But here we are more concerned with the RBD that is receptor binding domain because 484 amino acid position lies within the RBD and that too in the receptor binding motif. As we see the amino acid range is 424 to 494. So E484K mutation occurs within this receptor binding motif. Now let's see what's the function of RBD. This RBD of S protein interacts with the human ACE2 receptor. And it has been discovered that E484K mutation on RBD leads to stronger interaction between HACE2 receptor and RBD. Moreover, this mutation alters the dynamics of virus's contact point with ACE2 receptor, thus termed as escape mutation. Because now immune system has to recognize different antigen, as one amino acid has changed the sequence of whole S protein. So this is the brief outlook of E484K mutation till date. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.